Pusat belanja The Grove di Los Angeles, negara bagian California, ditutup untuk penayangan perdana film konser musisi Taylor Swift berjudul Taylor Swift The Eras Tour. Sebagian orang yang datang memang fans berat Taylor Swift. You know, hopefully she'll come down this way. We can see them setting up, like the red carpet and everything. Came here to watch a movie, and then I found out that Taylor Swift is premiering her own movie here, and there's just a bunch of people here um, lining up, hoping to potentially see her. Tapi ada yang sekedar penasaran. We kept seeing signs saying "Welcome Taylor Swift, friends and family." Um, we were like, "Oh, this is like a Taylor Swift thing." Not much else to do. I think it's just fun to look around. It's, I think it's the fun of being in LA when people want to come here. They think they're going to see a celebrity. Film Taylor Swift menampilkan konsernya yang juga laku keras, membawa angin segar ke industri bioskop yang lama tertekan akibat pandemi COVID dan belakangan juga oleh mogok berbagai serikat pekerja Hollywood. Pemasukan box office domestik film konser Taylor Swift akhirnya mencapai hampir 93 juta dolar pada akhir pekan pertama penayangannya. Dengan demikian film ini menjadi film konser tersukses dalam sejarah Hollywood dan juga menjadi opening weekend tersukses kedua untuk bulan Oktober setelah The Joker pada 2019. Film menampilkan konser atau dokumenter menampilkan persiapan konser sudah lama tak terlihat di bioskop di Amerika Serikat. We have to go back to the late 2000s, early 2010s with the Hannah Montana film and Justin Bieber and, and Michael Jackson's documentary. Those are those are very you know those are outliers. Uh, this and this is a very different I can't I think type of release pattern that we're seeing and really taking advantage of of Taylor Swift's fan base and now Beyonce's fan base to come. Pada Desember, giliran Beyonce meluncurkan film layar lebar juga menampilkan tour konsernya yang tiketnya juga laku keras. It's kind of fun to think about because it is a new way of looking at what can really be achieved in movie theaters with specialty events like this when they are given a traditional Hollywood-like release pattern and not just in five or six hundred theaters. They're, they're going nationwide. They're, they're going all weekend and playing in IMAX and all of the premium formats. So it really is a regular movie unto itself. And I, I really do think we could see more of that in the future to help ease the slower weekends at the box office when Hollywood doesn't have a big blockbuster out. Fenomena Barbenheimer alias Barbie ditambah Oppenheimer sebelumnya, lalu kini antusiasme para Swifties alias penggemar Taylor Swift akhirnya menatangkan kembali penonton ke bioskop setelah lama dimanja layanan video streaming di rumah. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.